Alright guys, Zooey Mama is back and we got a lovely little tutorial again on um, making a nice little puffer fish today. And what do you think of this little guy? Look at him. So cute. Look at him. Oh. But you just want to make him. If you want, just go ahead. I mean, it's quite self-explanatory, so just have a little look yourself. But here's the main feature of the, the video today, guys. It's the, the, well, the puffer fish. I mean, it's in its um, final stage. It comes in three stages. So I've incorporated the conduit, um, which is located on the inside of the uh, puff fish, and as you can see, it's nicely in work. That zombie dropped in just in the right time, and as you can see, it has killed the zombie because it was in the eight block radius of the conduit. So as you see on screen, we've got a nice little array of colours and we've got different things from smooth sandstone to um, stripped birch wood to terracotta from concrete and we've even got a bit of a half slab there as well. So we're going to start off the build with the face of the puffer fish. Now the best thing is to start off with a flat surface and then we'll go on to the spikes after. Now yes, they are actually spikes, well supposedly spikes around the outside of the puffer fish. Now I tried using stats, oh god I can't get my words out, I tried using um, half slabs, stairs and even trap doors and these were the ones that I thought looked best by using the actual blocks themselves, um, so they're one block um, forward of the actual flat surface of the face itself which is then going to give us the look of what we got in front of us of the puffer fish being really angry and got all these spikes out ready to attack um, the, the first thing that bumps into it I guess it's probably normally me <laughs> when I'm swimming around and anyway we're whizzing on round to the left hand side now and we're going to do it again so what we're going to do is like I said copy the flat surface and then obviously um, do the spikes after which just stops obviously confusion on the build itself as you can see on this tutorial and I say tutorial quite loosely um, because it's um mainly a show and tell I guess rather than a tutorial um, we've gone for the similar style where we did with the aquatic video where we actually just um, left it on screen and you can pause it at your desire to obviously copy down the pattern before we move on to the next section now I just find this a bit of an easier method to teach you guys how to do the build rather than doing painstakingly block by block which sometimes can get a bit confusing so as you can see we've panned up and we've got six half slabs across the top there now I did actually use trap doors um, iron trap doors which do give the effect of fins as well because they're quite thin and they are uh, they're white and that's sort of the best two um, solutions I could come up with I guess with having the fins on there so I mean like I said this build is not obviously set in stone if you think oh it looks a bit silly or all oh, that block looks a bit bit wrong in colour or you think that the spikes look silly and the, it should be um, half slabs or it should be um, I don't know stairs or or whatever or trapdoors then by all means obviously change it how you wish and obviously you know what what best suits you really I mean there's nothing to say that you're gonna have to keep it like this this is just my interpretation I guess of how a puffer fish would look like if it was um, a bigger size and with the obviously tools and blocks we've got available so as you can see we've panned around again to the left and literally you could copy the opposite side um, to the puffer fish because this side is exactly the same as the other side okay so you could easily just replicate that across and then obviously um, it just makes your life a lot easier so we're really close now to finishing the build we only need to do two sides of the puffer fish which is in the top and the bottom so so far you should have a giant square effectively so you're doing well well done you've got this far so obviously you still want to carry on finishing the build so good on you and like I said yes in survival this would be a bit of a pain because there is several blocks and different types of blocks you need to get but nevertheless it is easily acquirable it's not you know a ridiculous number to get either because we ain't really using that many bricks here to obviously create this little masterpiece so you know it's entirely up to you I mean in in survival it's easy peasy lemon squeezy because <laughs> you've got every block at your disposal anyway and <laughs> while we're talking about actually in creative I just want to give a little confession out here I am actually on PC version as you can see because the aquatic update has not quite yet come out on ps4 which i actually usually play on so um i just obviously want to say i do apologize for the um jerkiness of the camera and my movements because like i said i'm not very good on pc at all i'm really awful actually i've never played minecraft on pc before um i'm sort of getting to, to grips with it and used to the controls so um yeah just bear with me 
So as you can see, we're on the base now and it's really simple and straightforward and we should be done in a matter of minutes and once you've got that down we're gonna then obviously go on the inside and show you what we've done on the inside now we've got I've got two different ideas here and one of them is going to be the the full conduit it actually fits in just uh, with enough room to squeeze in and out and as you can see here I've got a little hole in the base where where my my um entrances but obviously you can make a little hole any way you want but I just decided to make it there and um, and there you go a full conduit so obviously that's going to give you a full conduit power and the whole purpose of this build or you can use the other scenario yeah I just like doing that because it's a cutscene <laughs> and we can do like I said the other scenario or the other idea I had was to make a little base inside instead so as you can see, I can't get through the hole because like I said, I cannot control this PC to save my life. But anyway, I've got it all waterlogged in here. As you can see, we've got some nice coral and we've got a nice little section here where you can just swim in and then you're out of the wet and into the dry. You can have a little bed in there and all sorts and a little crafting table, chest, treasure chest, you know, you name it. You can obviously decide what you want in there and have your creative imagination flow wild. And obviously, like I said, put whatever you want in there, do what you want. But anyway, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks again. Zooey Mama is going home. Bye.